Okay, and here we are in part two. Um, we're just going to add a little bit of grunge to it, just to make it look a bit better. Okay, to so start off by selecting a darkish green. That, right, there we go. Now, using any grunge brush that you may have in your library. Uh, I'm going to choose that one. Now just to over. Oh, crap. Right, make sure you make a new layer. Right, I'll just do it over. There we go. I'll change it to overlay and the opacity down to. Somewhere about 43, a bit like that. Turn it down a bit in a minute, then get the eraser tool with another grunge brush. Um, uh, so do. Let's keep. You can keep changing it to get more variation. Uh, put the capacity down a bit more. I say about there, 19. Okay, now we're going to add a few scratches and whatnot. So layer, new layer. I'm using the brush tool with the normal uh, three. You no, know, go with a one. With a black brush, and now just make some scratch marks. Uh, and then simply change the opacity down quite a bit, and then maybe change that, and then. Add a few more. There we go. And then just to top it off, we're going to add a new layer. Okay. Using a medium grey. Using another grunge brush. I'm going to use that one. I'll just keep right. and then just yeah, keep it on normal and then just put the opacity down to 15. And there you have it. It's not great. It's not of professional quality because, well, I don't produce professional quality just yet. There you have it, a wood texture that I would use for my things. So, well, that's it.